A new study says permafrost in the Canadian Arctic is melting so fast that it's swallowing the equipment scientists left there to study it. And the research warns that the rapid thaw could dramatically increase the amounts of greenhouse gases released from plants and animals frozen within the tundra. Joining me now is Merit Turetsky, a biologist with the University of Guelph and one of the authors of this study. Merit, thanks for coming on the program. Alarming to say the least. What can you tell us about this study? Yeah, so let me first explain what permafrost is. Mm -hmm. It is simply frozen ground that underlies actually most of the Canadian North and most of our country. So more than 60% of Canada nationwide is affected by permafrost. And it can be frozen rock, frozen soil, frozen sand, and it is literally the backbone of northern ecosystems. What we know today, because of all of the scientific research being done in Canada, is that permafrost is thawing much more rapidly than our models are suggesting. So this study was a wake-up call to the whole global community that the North is changing. It's changing very rapidly, much more quickly than we anticipated. And when you talk about what happens when the permafrost starts to thaw, because when we say melt, people think, oh, it's melting, but it's, not, it's thawing. But what happens? What's in the permafrost that can cause such emissions that are concerning? Well, I think that's a great point because, you know, sometimes permafrost contains a lot of frozen water and that water can melt, but actually permafrost contains a whole lot more. Mm -hmm. It contains, you know, the former life that used to be on top of the Arctic in these ecosystems that died at the surface and then, you know, got incorporated into the permafrost over time. And that is the material that thaws. That is a lot of old carbon that was lost from the atmosphere thousands and thousands of years ago. And now as this permafrost organic matter is warming up, it's starting to get rotted by microbes yeah. and it's being released as greenhouse gas. Again, this is carbon that the atmosphere thought it lost thousands of years ago. And now it's winding its way back into the atmosphere again. So on that note, and so basically this is decay. This is decay, as you say, yeah. and mm -hmm. it's creating new gases. And, you know, to ask the question that people who aren't necessarily on board with climate change might ask, is, is this a natural thing that would be occurring regardless of what mankind has done to the planet? Is this something that happens naturally, occurs naturally over a long period of time, and we're just seeing it now? It's a great question. I'd like people to think about permafrost thaw very similar to wildfire. You know, fires have always influenced the Canadian North. Permafrost and its sort of natural cycles of thaw and then recovery are also part of the natural cycle of the Canadian North. But what we're doing with anthropogenic climate change, and the data are unequivocal about this, we are dialing up this natural disturbance. We are dialing it up, ramping things up, making it happen faster on the landscape, and it is absolutely unprecedented in history. That's scary, frankly. That is a, a shocking find. And it's not just a carbon story. You know, this is literally the backbone of all northern infrastructure, waste containment, roads, homes, mm -hmm. uh, oil and gas, resource infrastructure, water mm -hmm. quality. So this is not only going to hit our pockets and our economy because of carbon emissions and greenhouse gas emissions, but because we are going to need to repair this infrastructure as it's being damaged, it's going to wind up having lots of economic impacts. Well, we appreciate the alarm bell. Uh, I wish we had more time to discuss, but thank you for your time today, Merritt. Appreciate it. Thank you. Merritt Tureski, biologist with the University of Guelph.